it's a little bit of a dangerous trend here. Cautioning against mixing and matching COVID-19 vaccine brands, World Health Organization's chief scientist, Sumya Swaminathan, cited limited studies. We're in a data-free, evidence-free zone as far as a mix and match. In Canada, hundreds of thousands followed the government's recommendation to mix and match. According to the National Advisory Committee on Immunization, or NACI, those who received AstraZeneca for their first dose could safely receive either mRNA vaccines, Pfizer or Moderna, for their second dose. And recently, after a delayed Pfizer shipment, mixing Moderna and Pfizer was also encouraged. The weighing of risks and benefits was in favor of making sure the population was vaccinated because COVID-19 in unvaccinated people is a life-threatening disease. Dr. Joanne Langley adds there is no evidence to suggest a different second dose is harmful. In the UK, a large study proved AstraZeneca and Pfizer have seen success when mixed, prompting a robust immune response. And while vaccine mixing is common with other types of shots, in terms of mRNA mixing, there have been small studies, but no definitive findings yet. Still, Nova Scotia's top doctor says real-world evidence shows it's safe. There's clear evidence that there, there that is it is perfectly fine to uh, to uh, intermix between the two types of mRNA vaccines. You get the same end result. What on earth is the public? supposed to do with this with this message. Bioethicist Carrie Bowman questions the timing of the WHO's comments, which come a little too late for many Canadians. The risk benefits are not clear enough because of the mixed messages. Yeah. Worried all this will do is erode trust in public health messaging and the vaccine rollout. The WHO's top scientist actually took to Twitter to clarify her comments. She says not individuals, but rather public health agencies should be deciding on whether people should be mixing and matching vaccines, and those decisions should be based on available data. However, that data is still coming in. Jamie Marocker, Global News, Toronto.